Hi, I'm Jonathan Metter, and we're here in Pico America's service department to show you how to get off to a great start with a Pico starter set. One thing to notice, right there on the box, it's made in Germany in our very own factory. That assures you of great quality, and we work very hard to bring that to you at an attractive price as well. This complete starter set here has everything you need to get going. This particular one is the White Pass in Yukon. It's a number 38106. But most of the same things uh, will be the same for other starter sets. This one has sound. Some of them don't have sound. This one also has smoke and some others don't have smoke. But most of the basic procedures are the same. So this comes with the locomotive, a couple of cars, a circle of track. And that track is made for indoors and outdoors just like the trains. It comes with a UL and CSA listed and approved power supply as well as a great little electronic throttle to give you precise control of the train. And it also includes some other accessories to get you in operation. All right, we've got the lid off the box and we're ready now for what we like to call the out of box experience. First thing you'll find here in the top corner is the instruction manual. Uh, another info, not a bad idea to read the instructions once in a while. Always a good start. All right, you'll find a full circle. That's 12 pieces of Pico solid brass rail track. We'll just take those out. Just cut the little plastic wrap that's holding that. You'll also find here the UL and CSA listed power supply and the track power hookups and a couple of magnets for the bells and whistles. Those will snap into the track later. And continuing with the unpacking, we've got the throttle, a little bottle of Smoke fluid for sound and smoke equipped starter sets. And track clips to join the tracks together. This is especially important if you're putting your track down on a hard floor like a wood floor or tile. That keeps the sections from working, working apart from each other. So, we'll leave the train in there for just a moment and come back and unpack the rest of that later. And one last item is the uncoupling wand, which we'll show you that later as well.